guys, so today's video is going to be a spring collective haul. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of sit-down videos recently. Um, I've, it's just a lot easier for me to do these. And it's a lot easier to edit, but I am going to try and get up some more um, edited videos, like a morning routine. And um, if you guys didn't see, um, I actually did a live stream the other day with my friend Alexa. And... Um, and some of you guys were saying you want me to do a makeup tutorial, so I'm thinking of maybe doing like a Coachella video where I do like Coachella makeup and then like some outfits. So comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just get on with the video. So the first place I went was a local boutique near me called Graffiti. And the first thing I got, I actually haven't worn a lot of my stuff yet because here in New York, it is still cold, and it's still sweater weather, so I haven't been able to wear a lot of stuff, but the first thing I got is just this really cute pair of tie-dye shorts, and they're just kind of like the Brandy Melville shorts, except they um, are tie-dye, so it's like uh, cream, brown, and black tie-dye, and I think these would look so cute with either like a black crop top or like um, a knit shirt. And yeah, I really like these. The next thing I got is just this really cute crossover tank top, and it is also tie-dye. Um, a lot of the stuff I got from Graffiti are actually tie-dye. So this is just like um, a light blue, uh, aqua blue, and a brown. And I, I think there might be some white in there. And it's really, really cute with like dark wash distressed jeans. I thought this would be super cute for the springtime. The next thing I got is also tie-dye. Um, it is just black and white, and it's just kind of like a shift dress type tank top dress. And it is so, so cute. I also haven't worn this yet. I can't wait for it to get warmer because I have so many new spring clothes that I really am so excited to wear. So yeah, I just got this, and it was super cute. The next thing I got from Graffiti you guys probably saw in my spring lookbook. And it is just this really cute off-the-shoulder romper, and it has this really pretty embroidery detailing on the ends of the sleeves and on the bottoms. And I'm so in love with this. I can't wait until it's warm enough here to wear it. It's going to be one of the first things that I wear. It's so cute, and it just fits me so perfectly. And yeah, I'm totally obsessed with this. The last thing I got from Graffiti is just this dress, and it's like a t-shirt dress, and you guys also probably saw this in my spring lookbook video, and it's really cute, and it fits so good. Um, I actually do wear shorts under this for you guys that may have been watching. This is, I think it might actually be a shirt, and I just wear it long, and I wear it with shorts underneath because I know that it is a little bit short, so yeah. The next place I went was J. Crew, and I got the J. Crew Downtown Field Jacket. And this was one of the items that I kind of saved up my money for. Um, I really am so in love with this. I got the mossy brown color in a um, extra extra small, and it fits me perfectly. I'm so in love with this. I've actually wore I actually wore this today to school, and I'm so in love with it. It's so cute, and it's so warm, and it's perfect for the cold spring weather and this could also work for fall weather and yeah so it's just the mossy brown color with the gold detailing and I'm so in love with this and I'm so happy I bought it. The next place I went was Victoria's Secret and I just got this really cute classic white um, bandeau top and I'm so excited to wear this. I'm going to wear it with white bottoms and it'll look so cute and I've always wanted a plain white bathing suit and now I finally have one. I'm obsessed with this top and it just fits me so well. The next top I got was also a bandeau top, except it was a different style. So it is a little bit cinched in the front and then the back. I don't know if you guys, how well you guys can tell, but it has a really, really pretty lace up back. And once you like loosen it up and tie it and it goes lower, it's so pretty in the back. I don't know how well you guys can tell, but it is so pretty and it fits me perfectly. The next place I went was Francesca's and I just got these really cute um, fake Jack Rogers and I just never, I've always wanted Jack Rogers but I just never got around to buying them and when I saw these in Francesca's they were so cute and they were a lot more affordable. I think I got these for about $40 when the original Jack Rogers are 118 I believe and these were just such a good deal and they look exactly the same and this is by the brand Olivia Miller for you guys that are interested and I do know that they do make sandals called Palm Beach Sandals that look literally identical to the um, Real Jack Rogers so if you guys can't find these ones you could definitely go on that website 
And yes, the next place I went was PacSun, and I did pick up a couple things from Brandy Melville and just from the Kendall and Kylie line. So the first thing I got was just this knit tank top crop top from the Brandy Melville section that they have there and that's why I love going to PacSun is because there's not that many Brandy Melvilles they're only in like big cities like Santa Monica or New York City and those are a little bit far obviously like the one in California that I went to is literally all the way across the country but um yeah I do ra I would rather going into the store I would rather going to the store to get them just so I know how they'll look on me and I don't have to go through the whole process of trying to return them but I feel like this would look really cute with um distressed um, with distressed boyfriend jeans, and I'm trying to find a pair that looks good on me so I can wear this, but, um, I'm so excited to wear this. The next thing I got from PacSun is something from the Kendall and Kylie line, and this is just a knit crop top, tank top. I don't really know what it, this is called. So this is what it looks like. I thought this would be super cute with a pair of high-waisted shorts, and I'm so in love with this. It's so pretty on. And this is what the back looks like. It just ties in the back. And it's super cute. And I cannot wait to wear this in the summer. The last thing I got, I think, was just from the regular um, Pack Sun line. And it's just kind of like a scoop neck um, halter top, I think it is what it would be. It's, um, it's from the line, um, or it's by the brand Me To We. And it's so pretty. It's baby blue and it's ribbed. And I just wanted one of these so bad. My friend Michaela has one of these in white from Brandy Melville, but they didn't have the white one online, so when I went into PacSun and I saw this light blue, I was like, oh my god, I have to get it. So yeah, this is the last thing I got from PacSun. The next place I went was Denny's, and you guys probably haven't seen Denny's in a haul of mine in a very, very long time. Um, I haven't shopped there in a really long time, but then um, I needed a new pair, I needed a couple new pairs of shorts for the summer, so I just thought I would pick some up. So I think all of these are from the brand Vintage Havana, or tractor so I just got these ones from Vintage Havana and they are super cute they're just like light wash distressed and they're super cute I'm so excited to wear them and this is what the back of them look like and I'm really excited to get them uh, I'm really excited to wear them in the summer the next pair of shorts that I got are just a pair of white shorts and these are just again another these are just a staple that you kind of just need in your wardrobe and I'm actually growing out of my denim shorts, like most of my denim shorts and all my white shorts. So I just decided to pick up another one of these. And lastly, from Denny's, I just got this um, denim regular wash pair of shorts. And they're frayed on the bottoms. And I just thought these were really cute. Also, another staple that you kind of just need in your wardrobe. So I just decided to pick these up. And then the next couple items that I have are just kind of from random stores. Um, I only have like one item from each store, so yeah. So the first place I went was Free People, and I just got this rib tank top, and it's just kind of like a crop tank top. And yeah, this is kind of just a basic item that I that I think every girl needs in their closet is just a plain shirt. Because um, you can do a lot of things with this. You could put like a jeans jacket over it, or you could just wear it with shorts. So yeah. Next, I went to Forever 21. And I just got this really, really cute um, t-shirt, and it's like tie-dye on the ends, on the bottoms, and on the back. And this is really cute with like um, distressed jeans, or just regular jeans, and I, and I would wear them with my Steve Madden slip-ons. And they're just really cute, and I can't wait until I can get to wear these all, all of these, because spring, I just needed to come, like... It's already here, but it's always freezing cold. The hottest it's gotten this year is 66. But that was like way earlier into the year, like a couple, like like a month or two ago. So unfortunately, we're back to the cold weather. But yes, yeah, so I just have this. And the last place I went was Abercrombie. You guys also probably saw this in my spring lookbook. This is just a really, really, really pretty um, tank top from Abercrombie. And it just has like really pretty lace detailing like on the boob area or on the top half of it. And it just has a v-neck and it's just really flowy. This looks so cute with sandals and jeans. So that is it for this haul video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions on where anything is from or you have trouble finding it, then I can definitely help you out if you just comment down below. 
And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow my social media, my Instagram and Twitter. So my Instagram is MichelleGrazYT. I did change it, so if you guys were following my YouTube Instagram or you were looking at my bio, I did change my YouTube Instagram to MichelleGrazYT instead of Michelle Graz with a bunch of like extra letters. Um, yeah, so be sure to follow me on there for updates on when I post videos or just random little Instagram pictures. And yeah, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!